Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. It's a little bit of a dreary day, but it's anything but dreary out on the water. We've got a great report for you here this morning. We're going to run down that bluefin tuna. Did it bite last night? How's the weather out there? And we'll have observations from three boats on the tackle you need to be successful in this bluefin tuna bite. Some exceptional yellowtail showing up up and down the coast also as we set up for the MB this morning. And also we're watching that white sea bass up there in the Channel Islands. An angler loses his pants fighting a bluefin tuna. We'll have that. And of course, we'll look at Baja, Alaska, Lake Ontario, San Francisco, and a lot more on an action-packed MB. Get ready, it's almost time. Kelly Castaneda is fishing out of Glacier Bay, Alaska with Jolene Thompson and friends, and she's on to a 30-pound king salmon. Oh, Lift this way. Lift up high. High and hard. High and hard. Big one. Let go. Oh my god. Let go. Yeah. Let go. Take pressure off. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest one of the trip. Oh, Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. A little bit gloomy today. It's kind of cool, and there's a pretty good wind blowing on shore here. But, man, we have got so much to cover with you. As you heard on the lead-in on the MB, we're going to be talking Alaska, Lake Ontario, San Francisco. Of course, the hot bite in SoCal and Baja. There is so much to talk about. Let's get through it. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my dear friends. Mm, mm, mm. Great cup of coffee, kick off the morning with all of you. Deeply appreciate you making time of your busy day to stop by and say hello. Don't forget to hit that like button, share these videos with a friend. Also, you can tick the little bell, you'll be notified when there's new content and subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. We deeply appreciate that. You can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. All right, let's get into it because there's a lot going on. Down in Ensenada, 70 miles below the border, we continue to see really excellent fishing on a mix of fish. There's some good bluefin tuna hits going on out of Ensenada, mixed up with some kelp paddy yellowtail. May not be every single trip out of there that gets them, but it is with greater frequency right now, and they are starting to bite better and better and better. The bluefin tuna, that is, and also the kelp paddy yellowtail seem to be getting an influx of those fish, and we're hoping we'll see even more of it as we push deeper into summertime. Keeping your eyes open is essential to your success, but a lot of those bluefin are still on the trolled Mad Mac lures. You can also get them on Colt Snipers, Daiwa Sakanas. When you roll up on a bird school of fish, those Bonita also hit the uh, Colt Snipers when you roll up on a area of fish. So some of those Bonita up over 10 pounds. They're beautiful, great. And those yellows, man, that's looking better and better all the time. We love that inshore. You're seeing yellowtail and you're seeing a mix of other species like calico bass and sand bass, that big bonita, and of course the omnipresent rockfish. Down a little bit further in Bola Bay of LA, Tom Lucas continues his assault with excellent fishing in the Bahia de Los Angeles. Way to go, Tom. Excellent fishing. Cabrilla, yellowtail, and a lot more beautiful weather down there if you like it nice and toasty, hot and warm like I do. And Tom Lucas is putting the wood to him. South of the border is really excellent right now. No question about it. By the way, Mike Morrison, the great manager at 22nd Street Landing in San Peter, was over at the Turner's Rod and Reel Club last night and gave a fabulous presentation by all accounts. So Mike, way to go and my hat's off and all my blessings to the great people over there at the Turner's Rod and Reel Club. I love those people. I've been honored to speak there several times. It's always fun. Mike, nice going. 22nd Street Landing, 310-832-8304. They have several boats fishing that bluefin tuna as it's up here 
in this neck of the woods, as you well know. All right, let's jump into it. Start with Long Beach Ford Fishing. The El Dorado just docked up a few moments ago. I was caught talking to Captain Will Hogue just a moment ago, and he said, Phil, it's amazing fishing. It truly is. We had 17 bluefin tuna, said Hogue, 14 over the 100-pound mark. He said the best color by far on the jig was to wind fast, from which I took color is irrelevant, but winding on the jig really fast is something that paid off for the guys on the El Dorado. And I'm going to give you some observations from three different boats. That is Will's observation, that once you get to the depth that the captain tells you to get to, or below that actually, so you come up through the fish, once you get there, it is essential to your success that you wind fast, according to Hogue. So that is something to keep in mind. A 207-pound Blue fin tuna was the big one for a father-son team. You know, those two are going to take that to their grave. It is such an extraordinary catch. 207 pounds. And the guy in the green there, that was his first fish. Pretty darn. First blue fin tuna. That is pretty good to catch a BFT that big. Great fishing on board the El Dorado. The Freedom had 12 blue fin tuna also. So, Everybody getting in on it. The Pride over 30 on a two-day trip out of 22nd Street Landing. These fish up there near San Nicolas Island are in range for L.A. Orange County boats. In fact, better for the boats here because it is closer. The weather has been up out there. And Matt Schlurf, he was on board the XL. I was talking to Matt all morning long about his experience. He said, you know, you really need slicker gear right now out here. But he said this morning, the weather's come down. And as I look at the forecast, looks like a beautiful weekend in the area where this bluefin tuna is at. So, you know, that's kind of a double-edged sword. Uh, the weather's going to be great. That's beautiful. The weather's going to be great. Everything that floats is going to be on this fish on the weekend. But the boys have managed to come up with good catches no matter what. I've got to tell you, Matt said they have been seeing copious, copious amounts of bluefin tuna, daytime and nighttime. Just doesn't want to bite in the daytime. But at night, it was chewing big time. And Matt said that they had fished from 25 to over 200 pounds. He found the most effective jig to be an eddy bomb, which is a torpedo sinker, right? That's all it is. He said 16 ounce with a single assist hook on the top of the jig. And he said that was working really, really well on the XL. So there you go. There's another one for you. Hey, check out Pat McDonald from the Bart Hall Show in Long Beach. He was out kite fishing at Four Fish, private boat fish. Nice going. And Lloyd Coates was on the Royal Star. Nice hit for Lloyd. They're big, beautiful fish for him. That was an Island Fishing Tackle sponsored trip. He wanted to thank everybody there from Island Fishing Tackle. Pretty darn good. The Highliner, excellent fishing. 25 guys on a day and a half trip. 50 blue fin tuna. The Highliner has been hitting it hard all season long. They've really been putting the hurt on the blue fin tuna. Really doing great. Celeb Darmody. Darmody. Darmody, right? Pardon, pardon me, Celeb. Celeb Darmody. He was on the outer limits. First thing he wants to do is rave about the crew. The guys on deck in the galley. Everything about the outer limits, Celeb said, was absolutely fantastic. Great blue fin tuna fishing at night. Here's some more tackle tips from him now. He said the two to 300 gram tungsten jigs were very, very effective. So were the Eddie bombs. So there you have a couple of guys in agreement on that. And he said the SK, Daiwa SK jigs, silver 300 grams were also very, very effective. So really, really good stuff. I got to tell you, really excellent fishing on that big fishing with the weather coming down. Our guys getting the snot kicked out of them out there. It's been kind of inclement weather. And when we talk weather here, we're always talking about the ocean surface, whether it's windy, whether it's rough. It could be raining. It could be sunny and hot. We don't even focus on that. We want you to know how it is. And there was some guys getting their butts kicked for a little while, uh, but things have calmed down. It seems like and looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend where that big fish is. There's fish closer to home there out of Point Loma, San Diego, and that fish 30, 35 miles, even closer than that sometimes, has been up and down in the daytime bite. We'll get into that in a moment, but I want to go back to the El Dorado because it was pants off fishing. 
For this angler, in the midst of a battle with a big bluefin tuna, the poor guy lost his pants. And man, I know that many of you out there have had a near close experience like that. When you're out of fish for a long time, that could happen. But that's some pretty funny stuff. Whoever took the time to take that photo has a magnificent mind and an eye for dramatic videos and photos. That is good stuff. Pants off fishing on the El Dorado, the Grande. Fishing full day out of San Diego. Boy, that fish on the full day trips, uh, you know, that fish that's closer to Point Loma, mostly 15 to 40 pound fish. Sometimes it bites and sometimes it just doesn't want to get with it. They had two bluefin and two yellowtail on board the Grande. Tomorrow I'll probably have 60 bluefin tuna. That's the way this thing has been going. On board the San Diego, they said they just had trouble finding schools of bluefin tuna yesterday, which means this morning they're probably all over the bluefin tuna. That's how this has been. Inconsistent. They still managed on the San Diego 17 bluefin tuna, a yellowtail, and a big bonito. So still some pretty good fishing. On those nighttime big fish, you want to have 100-pound spectra with 200-pound bite leader. Down in San Diego for that local fish, you want to have 25-pound fluorocarbon in addition to 40, 60, 80, and 100-pound spectra. I'd bring all of that, but you definitely want to have that 25-pound and a number four hook. When you're on a trip like the Grande had, and they're very finicky, even on the San Diego, you've got to choose a good hot bait and drop the fluoro down. That's going to get you a bite every single time time. So remember that. And if you haven't seen our Brian Wynn videos on how to hook your bait, you should take a look. In fact, I'll start putting up some on our Facebook page, Freeman Adventures here this morning. So you can get a look at the best way to hook your bait for different situations. Brian does an absolutely fantastic job on that. All right. Don't forget if you're having tax problems, there's nobody better than Tim Marquez. He's a Freeman Adventures family member, and he's been doing taxes for 35 years. Tim, you're getting old. Give Tim a call today. And for heating and or air conditioning needs, there's nobody better than John Lopez. Dear Freedman Adventures family friend, he does it right. Give John a call today. Hey, I've got to mention also the El Patron's running Catalina Island trips. I'm going to tell you in just a moment how they did, but excellent fishing going on. On the El Patron, and they've got some room in the week coming up. Limited load trips. They're great out of Long Beach Ford Fishing. Get on the El Patron by going to www.longbeachsportfishing.org to get on the El Patron. All right, back to the islands. Coronado Islands, great yellowtail fishing going on at the islands right now. A mix in terms of the size, 10 to 20 plus pound fish. Most of it's big, though. Most of it's 15 to 20 plus pounds, right? The surface iron and bait, really great fishing on that. Some bonita in there, barracuda flurries, and also rockfish to go along with it. And some good calico bass fishing. That variety continues out at San Clemente Island. We see great fishing at SCI on big yellows. If the sea lions would leave us alone a little bit more out there, it would be phenomenal because there's a good body of yellows that have taken up residence at San Clemente Island right now. Sometimes it's 25 pound, other times you can get a bite on the 40 pound fluorocarbon. And then again, sometimes you wanna throw 40, 50 pound with a surface iron and get a bite that way. The Thunderbird yesterday out there at uh, San Clemente Island, 14 yellows, couple of halibut, and then a variety of other species, whitefish, sheep's head, calico bass, that stuff there. The Fury's been there on a regular basis doing much the same. We see some pretty darn good fishing coming out of SCI. The El Patron at Catalina Island yesterday out of Long Beach Ward Fishing. What a great trip with limits on the calico bass. Limits on the vermilion rockfish. Two for five on the yellowtail. There are some big yellows wandering around Catalina Island. The Pursuit had a variety of different species and two big yellows here recently. So there is some big forkies. And you know, we got tipped off on that by Alex Serrano, a private boater who took his twin boys over there the other day. We had that for you. And they hammered out six for six on the 30 plus pound forkies at Catalina Island. There's occasional white sea bass there. And the weather has been beautiful. Although it does seem like a little bit different day. It's going to get very, very nice for the weekend. So that is great news. Cat really on the bite. Excellent fishing going on up there in the Channel Islands. Well, we see copious, 
copious amounts of white sea bass. And I mean a lot of WSB up there in the Channel Islands right now, but they've had weather. It's been windy and sloppy and kind of rough, and it's made the whole thing way more difficult in the Channel Islands the last couple of days. As they say, here for the weekend, it looks like we're going to have much improved and nicer weather. Had one white sea bass on the Aloha Spirit. There's a few other sea bass and halibut caught around. Most guys trying to fall back on the rockfish. And the barracuda bite that was really good on the outer islands also took a hit also because of this weather. Once again, that should all get back and return and get into the mix again with the return to some better weather tomorrow and even nicer weather for the weekend. So for all of you Channel Island fanatics who are going out there for the weekend, man, that should be absolutely gorgeous, which incidentally bodes so well for the island spirit on Sunday because it's Kids Fish Free Day, and it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous weather day. And that's all Captain Daniel Hottaway and the crew on their need is some good weather to put a ton of rockfish and maybe a bunch of barracuda. Their last trip that we reported live on with you all, they had limits on the rockfish. They had barracuda. They had a halibut. They really had a lot of fun. Kids fish free this Sunday on the Island Spirit up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing when the weather looks to be beautiful. Give them a call at 805-676-3474 and get on the Island Spirit up there out of Ventura. All right, let's take it into the half and three quarter day range guys here. There's a little bit more of a sprinkling of yellowtail up and down the coast. Some guys are having some extraordinarily good calico bass fishing while others have struggled a little bit. A white sea bass on board the dolphin out of Fisherman's Landing in San Diego yesterday along with that bass bite and rockfish and that kind of stuff. So nothing wrong with that. The new Seaforth out of Seaforth Sport Fishing has been hammering on the calico bass but they've had as many as six yellowtail especially later on in the day. It seems like evening like the p.m. trip or the twilight trip they've been able to catch some yellows and also a little bit of white sea bass but good calico bass fishing a little bit of rockfish to go along with that same thing dana wharf they're picking at the bass out of davies locker newport beach they got a little bit of cool water so their bass fight hasn't been that great it's up and down and you know there's some bass up here off Long Beach, San Pedro, they perhaps will run up here. A lot of sculpting yesterday. The victory yesterday out of Long Beach shore fishing had sand and calico bass. In fact, they were close to, uh, you know, limits for some guys who were on the trip. They limited out on the sculpting, so you went home with some good eating fish and a few barracuda. Man, it's really been slow to get going here this year. There's no doubt about it. It has been a slow starting year. So we'll watch it very, very closely for you all, and hopefully it's going to get kicked in the butt and start to bite them. Monte Carlo has had some excellent bass fishing, calico bass, sand bass, a halibut. It's really looking better as the water temps have definitely warmed up. We just need a little more consistency to this thing, and the Monte Carlo can always fall back on Sculpin at a 22nd Street landing for you all. So we'll keep that in mind for you, and uh, hopefully that's going to continue to head in the right direction. We kind of covered... What's going on up there in the Channel Islands? Marina del Rey, Redondo, Sculpin, Whitefish, Rockfish. Good bass fishing at night for both those guys, Redondo and Marina del Rey. An occasional good bass day during the daytime. And let's go to the Channel Islands. Just mentioned the weather's coming down. It should be much nicer. There's some barracuda at the local islands up there and a cap in Santa Cruz. And also some pretty good rock fishing, as we mentioned. Great day on the island spirit here recently. All right, San Francisco. Up there, let's just mention that they continue to hammer on the um, halibut and stripers. The new huck fin has been catching limits of halibut on a regular basis. Pete Demers, who is the great trainer of the Los Angeles Kings for so many years when I was going to hockey games back in the 70s, 80s, Pete was there. He had a distinguished career there. Pete's at Lake Ontario holding up. What is that, everybody? Um. Uh, I'm woefully ignorant. Is that a giant trout or a salmon? Somebody put a comment down below and educate me, please, because I don't know what that is, but it's very impressive, Pete. Pete's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Not only that distinguished career with the LA Kings, but he is always down in the soup kitchens on holidays, helping those less fortunate. Love you, Pete. You are an exceptional human being. Jolene Thompson and a whole bunch of friends are up there in Glacier Bay, Alaska, and they're catching a variety of fish from halibut to salmon to so much more, having a really good time. And Kelly Castaneda, you saw her on the lead end, catch that 30-pound king 
Salmon, biggest one on the trip so far. A really great catch for Kelly. Way to go, Kelly. Love seeing that outstanding stuff. In the surf, don't forget, big fish bait and tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California, where you can get all the bait you need, all the tackle you need from trout fishing right on up to big game tuna fishing. When you want to pick up some worms or something like that, you can make your own sand crabs right now. In many of these beaches, there's some good uh, availability of sand crab, and that's why there's so much fish. It's been red hot. Of course, down at Huntington Beach here in Surfside, San Diego, lots of yellowfin croaker, occasional halibut, an occasional striper still being taken down there near San Diego. We get you up the beach here to the Santa Monica Bay halibut, yellowfin croaker, some spot fin croaker also down there on the water tower right off Anderson and Pacific Coast Highway. Those fish are always going to be taken on bait. Not always, but 99% of the time. Worms were good. You can dig up sandworms or get a big sand crab and man make a good long cast and you got a really good chance to catch a beautiful spot fin croaker here right now and don't forget big fish bait and tackle they're giving away a free beautiful custom surf fishing rod every single month with the biggest fish you have to use their ruler that they have down there but once you get their ruler you're in the contest they'll explain everything about the rules to you when you walk into big fish bait and tackle on the corner of seal beach boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. A free custom surf fishing rod every single month. I don't know how you can beat it, and it's free to enter some great surf fishing going on right now. Hey, pants off fishing going on on this bluefin tuna. The weather's gonna come down. It's a little bit gloomy, but it's nice and cool here this morning. So, you know what? I'll take it. It's a beautiful day, and a beautiful scenario we have here with a world-class fishing we've been all experiencing in Southern California. All right, more news all day long here on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. Um, I forgot to mention that it was Diego's birthday. Now, that is Sam De La Torre from Island Fishing Tackle's son. Diego, happy late birthday to you. That was Monday. That's why we had no uh, tackle shop confessions. And Danny Cadota, he's in the Eastern Sierra with the grandkids, teaching them the fine art of trout fishing. So no Danny Cadota show tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this time on my hands. Maybe I should go surf fishing and catch some fish here this evening. In any account, it's always good to see you. We'll have more later today. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.